Hello everyone, how are you doing? You are most welcome. Thank you so much. If you are new on this channel, my name is Henrietta and on this channel we pray, we seek solutions, we come to God and he has always given us speedy answer. So please subscribe and join us and turn on the bell notification so that you will always get updates. You come and watch and receive your blessings. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. So today, I'm going to show you a powerful Bible passage that you can read and understand the secret of solving your problems. Many of you, you have problems. As human beings, it is normal to have a problem. It is not abnormal. But you should not stay long in that problem. You have been borrowing for years. You have been begging for years. You have not cleared your debt. You are still owing. You are still jobless. You come here. You are rejected. You go there. You are rejected. That spirit of rejection is what you are going to pray against so that you can be accepted and favored. If you are always rejected, you will not receive favor. So, if you are looking for customers, you have a shop, you have a business, and yet no patronage. There are some people, they leave their homes, they leave their houses, go to work, business center, they hardly sell. You will see customers passing your shop, going to the next shop, selling what you are selling. Why? Why are you not being favored? What other people tried that worked for them? When you try, failure. You always experience delay and stagnancy. Nothing at all is working for you. You try this, nothing. You try this. There are people I know. They run from business to business. They try this business, nothing. They try that, they close up. Because there is no favor. And they always think that that business does not enjoy patronage. That is a lie. That your business that is not working or selling for you, there are people who are making loss and loss of money, loss of cash from that business. It is rejection versus favor. When you have favor, your business will be favored. It is favor that will bring you loss of customers because no matter what you sell, others sell too. So, get your Bible. And open to 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16 to 18. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. For every problem, pray without ceasing. Have you stopped praying? There are many people, when they pray over something and they are not getting results, it is not working as they wanted, they stop praying. They start blaming God. No, you should always be praying without ceasing. Do not relent in your prayers. That you have not gotten it now does not mean that you will not get it. Does not mean that the Lord is not working out your miracle. The Lord is working out your miracle. He is doing that. There are some people... When they pray, they get instant miracle. Yes, and there are some requests. There are some requests. When you pray, you get them instantly. 
or within a short period of time. Depend on what you are asking for. While there are some requests, it takes time. God is wise. He is not man. He is not foolish. Before God gives you a blessing, He will examine you. Can you handle that blessing? One, He will prepare you first to handle the blessing. You are praying to be a mother. You are praying for children. Do you know what it takes to be a mother? Are you prepared to carry the responsibilities of parenthood? Or you just want to give birth and drop for nanny? All in the name that you are now a mother. He has to prepare you. Are you looking for a life partner? The Lord has to prepare you. It is not just to get married, but to stay married. Are you ready for the marriage? Are you strong enough? At times you are not. So instead of you to rush in and rush out, you see the Lord taking time to build you. Or maybe you are careless. You are asking for a car. The Lord will not just give you a car that will kill you. He will prepare you to be careful and prepare your miracle. So whenever you have prayed, you know that you have prayed and you have believed. You had faith. And you try to help the poor, those you are better than. Because that is one quick way to touch the heart of God. Be happy and rejoice. That is what this scripture is saying. Do not mourn. Be happy and rejoice because the Lord is preparing your miracle. But immediately you give up. You start complaining. You start blaming God. He will just stop. And maybe you will get closer to your miracle. There was a lady that we heard of. She was about to get married after praying for many years. It was like six months before God would give her a good life partner that would change her life. She began to quarry, Lord, you have abandoned me. Lord, you don't answer prayers. Lord, why me? Look at my mates. They are all married. She got angry with God and started living a wayward life. She never knew that her miracle was closed. Then, she found herself a husband on her own and got married. Do you know that now this woman is out of this marriage with one eye? This is a true life story. And her personal pastor, her personal pastor revealed to her that she would have gotten married to her ordained partner from God that will take care of her, will take care of her, who would be nice and would have been respectful to her in the next six months if she had patience. These are pastors that have designing spirit they see ahead. She has rushed and left a miracle and now she is back to square one. Divorcee with one eye, which is worst. Which is worst. How many men want to marry a woman with one eye? This is what happens when you rush past God's miracle. When you feel that you want to do it on your own. When you remove your problems in the hands of God and start searching for personal solution. You think you can do it on your own. Do it. Do it. And see how it land you. Do it and see the price you will have to pay. So please, pray without season. Depend on God and have patience. Have patience. Do not look at others. My mate have done this. You don't have a mate. You came to this life alone. You are living alone. You are alone. You were created alone uniquely. I know that all delay is not from God. You can always pray against delay. Every delay in my life 
is uprooted in the name of Jesus. Always pray against delay, but be patient and allow God to speak for you. He will never fail you. Rejoice always. Always thank God and pray without ceasing, and your life will change. Don't worry yourself. Your miracle is close. I'm here to give you encouragement. Do not give up on God. Because at that point, you are about to give up. Maybe you are very close, so close to your miracle. May God not let you miss your miracle in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. And keep the bell turned on so that you can always get notified. You come and watch and receive your blessing.